Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a review for you on an electricity provider here in New Zealand called Electric Kiwi. The main reason I am doing this review is because I've just come back from overseas where I spent probably two years living in a place where electricity was almost half of what it is here. So I didn't really much feel like coming back and spending crazy prices on power once again. Um, it's just my husband and I in our household and we did a bit of research and came across Electric Kiwi. Now you'll see I've opened up my account here and I'll run through the reasons why I chose them. So the main um, draw was this thing called Hour of Power. Now what that is, is that within an hour of a time that you nominate during the day, you have essentially free power in that time. So you'll see I've nominated 11 a.m. So between 11 and 12 every day, my electricity is going to be free. The reason I chose that was because my husband doesn't start work till 1, so he'll be at home and I work from home during the day. What's cool is that you can change that at any stage. Um, if I was to change that today, if I just click on this link here, um, as long as I do it before I set it up for the following day, then you're good to go. What the hour will be though, during the week, it's usually during working hours and after 9pm and in the weekend it's any time at all. So I'll just show you a bit of my account, like what this equates to. I only signed up earlier this month. Um, so I've had my account for 16 days and in that time I've spent $35.62 but I have saved 20% or about a fifth off my power bill. And how that equates to in actual dollar terms is so far I've saved close to $10. So if you were to extrapolate that out, I'm looking at spending about $70 for the month and saving close to $10. So it would have been $90, it's probably going to be around $70. So we'll scroll down a bit more and I'll just show you a few other um, parts of the account really. So here it has my usage between the 5th and 20th of June, which is reflected um, in the charges and percentage savings below. But if I wanted to, I could change my start and end dates if I wanted to analyse what I spent last week, the week before, yesterday, what have you. So what's probably quite good to note is your rate. Um, my husband and I have put ourselves down as low power users, so we've got a set rate of just 34 cents a day, and our electricity is charged at 26, 26 cents per kilowatt hour. Now if we were to change to high users, I believe with Electric Kiwi that increases, the daily rate increases to $2 a day, but then you're charged far less, I think it's about 13 cents per kilowatt hour. Um, I believe just through doing research um, on the different providers that this is pretty standard across the board so there's not much difference um, but as you can see they have this hour of power so that is pretty much the kicker or the main reason for us going for um, Electric Kiwi as opposed to anything else. You can also in this graph here just see your percentage of savings per day in your hour of power so I'll go across to this one because it's pretty high and yeah I don't know what we were doing on Saturday but managed to save 36.9 percent off our power bill which is pretty cool so the other thing too when we started which was only 16 days ago as you saw it was all quite exciting and quite fun so we were waiting till nine o'clock rolled around and then it would be all systems go in our house we'd get the dishwasher going we'd get the tumble dryer going the washing machine we'd probably both manage a shower in that time charged all our electronic devices you can be smart about it you can do everything <laughs> as many things as you want in that time and that was fun um, since then though I mean it's only been a few weeks but the novelty has started to wear off a little so when it gets to nine, you're like, okay, got to start doing stuff now. But uh, what we might do, and I think what is pretty wise, is just to get a timer set up for future so that we don't have to think about these things as the time rolls around. We can just continue kind of carrying on our lives. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's just one thing to think about. Um, the other thing to note, too, if you see down here, it says Electricity Kiwi is online, start a live chat. 
they don't have a call center at all. You can't ring them up if you wanted to. That might not. This might not be the right company for you to go with. Personally, I don't like ringing anybody up. I feel like I'm going to be on hold, and then just personally, maybe it's just me. I just don't want to have to have that interaction or conversation. So, what's cool about um, them being having an online chat? is that there's actually somebody at the other end of this service. If you start typing, hi, can you help, or what have you, there will be somebody who will reply straight away, which is really nice. And I can say that for sure because I've used them. I thought that our account, um, when we moved, I thought we were moving in on the 5th of May, because I had May in my head, I guess, and that was wrong. It was actually the 5th of June. So just through this service, I managed to contact them, and they rectified it pretty quickly. The other thing, too, actually, is that they don't have any contracts, which is cool, and there's no startup fee, so you don't have to pay anything to get hooked up with them, and you can leave at any time, no questions asked, they're not going to charge you or penalise you or what have you, just because maybe you decide somebody else is better or maybe you leave, you know, you might, you might go overseas or you might change house or what have you, so I'm quite a fan of that myself. Um, and if we scroll down here, there's just another chart showing you in a different way your electricity usage. So the peaks and crofts across the different days that you've had your account for. Um, it's most likely to be that these high points will be your hour of power usage and probably here, I don't guess, nobody was home. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I just sort of show you a summary of um, how it looks and why I like Electric Kiwi. I like having this access online and just being able to do everything and change anything at any one time that I want to do so. Uh, so they are actually offering a $50 credit if you sign up. So for me that's looking like that could be like three quarters of my monthly power bill. Um, I've provided the link in the description below so if you just click on through there then you should be able to get $50 credit to your account if you sign up. Um, I'm not sure how long the deal's on for, but it's at least on for right now. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you do decide Electric Kiwi is the one to go for, then enjoy. Thank you.